The most common argument for technology being a detriment to education is that it becomes a great distraction to students, breaking their focus and decreasing productivity. This point is nearly irrefutable, but this is more due to work habits. Anything can pose a distraction, though technology is currently the most common mechanism. When you are doing your homework, are you usually plugged into technology? Every once in a while, yes. I usually like to listen to music. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm usually texting people. But I do use it. Almost always. Yes. Many technologies. When you're searching for something on the internet, do you get sidetracked with something else you've got you've stumbled across? Constantly. Almost every time. I just find these random things and then I just end up twenty minutes later. Oh hey, that was what I was looking at, right? Do you find it more productive doing your homework at or away from the computer? Well, it'll depend. Away from the computer. Like things like math, I tend to find it easier from not by the computer because I get less distracted. I always get sidetracked when I use a computer. Or if I'm doing law homework and then also trying to be on the computer at the same time, then that can be pretty confusing. With students doing much of their writing on the computer, it would seem penmanship is a lost art. Although many of today's students have horribly illegible writing, plenty still make an effort to have good penmanship, and most would agree that it is still important to do so. Do your teachers complain about your handwriting? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I write like a five-year-old. Yes. Well, my handwriting is awful. How much of the time do you write your homework with pencil and paper? As little as possible. As little as humanly possible. Um, do you think penmanship is important anymore? Yeah, it bothers me when people have bad penmanship. Yes. Um, I think it has its uses. Yes. It makes presentation look so much nicer. Well, my chemistry teacher once said that his dog writes better than me, so I guess so. Another fear which comes with the integration of technology into our lives is that e-books and the internet will phase out physical books and worse, replace people reading. Although the t internet tends to be the preferred method of research and teenagers are spending increasing time playing with technology rather than enjoying quality literature, they still take the time to read and certainly prefer to do so with a real book. All right, when's the last time you used a dictionary, like a physical <gasps> dictionary? I used one the other day <laughs> because I needed to look up a word, and that was probably the first time I've used one in um, two years. Hmm. Um. Oh, my goodness. I have no idea. It was a long time ago. Dead serious, grade two. Would you rather read an e-book or a real book? A real book, definitely. I'd rather read a real book. Definitely a real book. A real book. A real book for sure. I like in real books, like I like the smell of books. I like turning pages. I feel like I'm making progress when I turn pages instead of just endless scrolling. I just have this thing about having a real book. I, I don't know what it is. Do you use your local library? Yes. 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 In your free time, how much time do you spend reading versus using technology? Honestly, I spend more time reading, but I think that's just me. I spend more time on technology than I do reading. I would say 25% of my free time is spent reading. And technology? Um, that would be pretty much the rest of it. Really? 50-50, actually. Since today's students already regularly use technology and think of it as being fun, it only makes sense that by integrating technology into the classroom, students would be more engaged and enjoy their assignments much more. Video reports, PowerPoint presentations, and the likes tap into teenagers' interests, bringing learning to them in a way they enjoy, and they are more inclined to participate and apply themselves to the assignment. Uh, would you rather write an essay or do a project incorporating technology? Like project incorporating technology. I would rather do a project.
project incorporating PowerPoint because you can add stuff to that that you can't get across in an essay. I'd go for video or PowerPoint, it's a lot quicker. From my experience with PowerPoints and videos, they tend to be much more fun. It depends on the topic is. <laughs> Probably the PowerPoint. I think those tend to be really fun. Essays are boring. Can you recall a recent assignment which integrated technology? Did the use of technology make the assignment more enjoyable? Yeah, I'd say so. I'm taking a filming class right now, so I'm enjoying that a lot. One recent assignment I did um, had me create a PowerPoint presentation of a research project. Um, it definitely made it more enjoyable. More enjoyable. Yeah, we had to do this um, video project in French, and it was crazy go nuts, and we couldn't have done it even close to as well if we didn't record it and edit it and such and such. Do you procrastinate more on written assignments or technology assignments? Mm, probably more written assignments. Probably written assignments. Written assignments. I think. Technology assignments are fun! Although the internet is not always an entirely reliable source of information, it is still possible to research accurately. For students, this is the most efficient way to study. Used correctly, the internet is an excellent teaching tool. And so long as proper research is taught and encouraged, students can save a lot of time. And since they are not overloaded with minor facts, they are more likely to remember the most important information. Are you able to find more varied, reliable sources online or in books? Online? Online. Varied sources? Online. Reliable sources? Books. I don't know how reliable things can be on the internet. As Abraham Lincoln once said, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. What do you prefer using for research? Books or the internet? The internet. Definitely the internet. Typically, I prefer the internet just because of the vast sources of information. It's much faster. The internet is good for getting information that's, that's a bit more recent. On the internet, I can just type in a question, and then I get the answer, and it's great. Do you find it more efficient to research online or in books? Online. Online? Online. Uh, online. It, I find it um, much faster and easier. Online for sure. It's just the information you need faster. So much more. If I want to find out something now, I'm like, all right, Google. I'm not like, all right, let's go to the library and see if they have this book in store. They don't. Let's put it on hold. <laughs> it's like, no, I could just use Google. You don't have to go looking through an encyclopedia and be like, oh, the information's not here. Oh, dear. As technology becomes more and more prevalent in the modern world and in the workforce, students need to be taught the skills to function in such environments and be given the opportunity to practice the skills they will be using in their future jobs. Um, do you think that using technology in school helps prepare you for working in the modern world? Uh, yes. I think it does. I would say yes, definitely. Having that knowledge of how to use these programs enables you to say, hey, I can do that. It makes you more appealing as a prospective employee. Will your future career path be reliant on technology? It kind of will be because I'm hoping to be an animator. One of the things that I'm looking at again is film. So that would be one thing that would be really incorporating technology. Yes. Most definitely, yeah. Do you think that you are competent enough with using technology to get by once you enter the workforce? Yeah, I'd say so. I hope so. I think so. Yes, I believe so. What I have also allowed me to learn more. Okay, at school, how have you been prepared for using technology in the workforce? Well, they just, they use, like, technology at the school and stuff. <coughs> well, they taught us how to use Word and format things, and they taught us how to use PowerPoint. We did a lot of PowerPoint. They didn't teach us really how to use Excel, which, personally, I think should be mandatory, how to learn how to use Excel, because it's not really something you can just pick up on your own, like it's really, really confusing. And I think a lot of careers use spreadsheets. I really think they need to start 
showing people like other pieces of technology. I'd say not so much at school. So we just kind of figure it out on our own. I don't know if they really taught us.